So I have a question. What the fuck is a Jedi rocket and where can I get one? <laughs> didn't you ask us the first time when we did it? No, I didn't. Wait, I hang asked on. about Twitter about one time. Well, but... right? Yes. Okay, let me just jump ahead a few seconds. I'm sorry. I I accidentally started playing part 11 again because VLC doesn't tell me what part I'm actually I actually have open until I start playing the video. But yeah, what the fuck is a JJ rocket? Let me do a quick Google search for you. A rocket owned by JJ. <laughs> uh, it's a rocket JJ. powered by angry newspaper editor. Or, you, in, 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 or we could in, we could possibly also insert J.J. Abrams joke or J.J. from Resident Evil 4. Parker, I need you to do some sweet tricks on this skateboard. I'll take you pictures of Spider-Man. Grah! There was a J.J. in, uh, in, in Resident Evil 4. The machine, the Gatling gun. Oh, dude. is that what that was called? Yeah. I forgot. Well, let's see. J.J. has uh, Persian origins. Then I got it. A village in the Tombi Golgir Rural District in the Golgir District in Masjed Solomon County in Kusitin oh, Province so in the Iran. The rocket is that thing in Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, you mean the Shinra rocket number twenty-six? Yeah, let's just call it the JJ rocket. <laughs> okay, well fine. We'll call it the JJ rocket from now on. <laughs> okay, so what did the Prince of Persia just make a rocket? And when you know. Turning back time became more profitable for gameplay experience. He just decided to turn it into a Sonic Rush song. Uh, they what? made a rocket in Jeja, hence Jeja Rocket. It just, I'm, ugh. just these song titles make no sense. Welcome to Jet Grind Radio. <laughs> that's basically ah. that's basically the rule of thumb with that game. Don't question anything about what's going on. It It'll just hurt sounds good. Yeah. Actually. Well, I think bothers me about music sometimes is when no real rhyme or reason put into the anything about the music. Skrillex? I don't, it's like it's, no, it's Skrillex, it, a MacBook is not an, an instrument. instrument. <laughs> Garage Band isn't an instrument either. Close enough. <laughs> Okay, Skrillex. This is a this is a guitar. This is an instrument. Yeah, I, like you know, I, I I tend to prefer music that has no lyrics. Like, if anything, like but, instrumentals. Uh, yeah, I like instrumentals. But when I do have lyrics, I like to I like those lyrics to make sense, and I like the title attached to them to also make sense. So... Okay, well, I don't mind like the lyrical content. Like, as long as I can understand what the words are supposed to be, I'm fine. But this is mostly just because I listened to a lot of uh, '80s hair metal music growing up. So you know, you just hear the her words like love, kill, uh, sex, drugs. You just screaming, hear those. Screaming, 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 like screaming. As long as it's grammatically correct, I'm okay. You didn't like the lyrics to the desert uh, <laughs> level we heard. Da -da 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 <laughs> if there's words, if there's a voice, I like it to be there for a reason, is all I'm saying. Maybe it's because I'm a writer, but if there's no meaning to it, it's just blah blah blah, and that irritates me. Welcome to 90% well, of music today. <laughs> which is why I don't listen to the radio. Thank you for explaining that for me. Lewis, can't you listen to the really, uh, really, really deep social political commentary in Dabidabidasadiha? <laughs> I don't uh, care if it's uh, deep. No, you know what? I should clarify. I don't care if it's deep. I mean anything particularly special, but I do like to understand something from it. Oh god damn it! I was invincibility. Knock like, back. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> there was even room for me there in the crusher. The enemy is pretty dickishly placed, though. It's still not Sonic Advance 2 bit levels. Of that, that. that enemy could disappear in between the screens and drop a bomb, and you would never see it coming. Well, you know the the you know the sort of dickish level design doesn't as much in Rush because you can just sort of plow through most of the enemies, 80% of the time. It's just like most of the time when you like a lot of the times like at the uh, end of a of a long running section in a lot of Sonic games, there would be an enemy there that you had no chance of seeing coming and then you'd run into. Since you're boosting most of the time in Rush, I don't feel like that's as much of an issue this time around. 
Well, you nope. see, you say, uh, you, you see, you say that like though, that. But when I think back to my playthroughs in the advanced series, badniks were a complete non-issue to me because there are barely any that badniks. In no, the you see what games. the advance? You know, what to me that pissed me the fuck off. Okay, it would launch you off a ramp pad at the end of a speed section. You'd probably land next to a pair of spikes, and then a second later, another set of spikes would would pop up from the ground underneath you with no indication. Oh, I there. fucking hate that! <laughs> <laughs> it happened all the time. It's just no. How was I supposed to see that coming? It's just, no, it's just like trolling me. It's just like that. Those spikes are there so you can re. Um, reorient yourself and get yourself back into the more like run and jumping. See, okay, see, look, I'm I'm breaking on purpose. I don't want to <laughs> fall into that same fucking trap again. The the game punished you for having fun. <laughs> we can't have that now, can we? EA, is that you? <laughs> no, just Capcom. No, that's pretty much EA as well. I would say it's more EA than Capcom. EA, you know what? You know, I I, I don't like how some of the things Capcom does, um, but I still hate EA more. Oh well, the, okay. Now we're we're just arguing over. I'd rather get dropped off of a cliff than shot I'd out of. I'd have a company that occasionally makes something fun without having to buy another publisher to and ruin them to to put out something entertaining. Madden. Madden. It's the same game every year. Shut up. New Super Mario Brothers. Don't you want to pay $400 to play Madden again on the newer system, Lewis? No. No, I do not. I didn't... Well, I don't even like Madden to begin with, but that's me just hating sports. What about the latest Call of Duty? <laughs> dog, you dog, 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 dog. Of. But See, it's I slightly more graphically finesse. <laughs> I, I don't like first-person shooters much to begin with, so... Nah. But it has a dog in it. <laughs> but you know what? Something that pissed me off. Why did the Xbox? Why did the next Xbox suddenly have to reveal reveal itself to be a sucky piece of shit? Right after I got into the Halo series. <laughs> well, then just uh... buy the first three games in ODST, and that's all you need. <laughs> you know the story for four, five, and six is gonna suck anyway. I kind of like the story for four, but ah, uh, well. Four's are. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, when did four come out? Yeah, no, 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 no. not not too recent, but not like last week or anything. Well, like Halo Four, I didn't. De when the hell did that happen? Sometime between no. Here's the thing, though, Ted. Do you care? No, but the, the, here's the thing. Even if I even if I don't really care, you know, that's a major release, isn't it? When the fuck did that happen? Sometime between ODST and now. Uh, well, Halo Reach came. Well, did Halo Reach come out before or after ODST? I think before. Halo. Sure. I Hold think on. it might have been after ODST because uh, Halo Anniversary used the Halo Reach multiplayer, uh, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Well, it came out in November of last year. When the f did this just like come out like completely under the radar or what? No, you just weren't paying attention. Well, I, I don't remember anything about this, though. Ugh, man. That's uh, sad, because um, even I noticed it. I don't know, I wasn't even paying attention to Halo at the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I thought that wasn't out yet. <laughs> to be fair, though, I, I, I to, until this very minute, I actually forgot that I actually got it for Mark as a birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> It's just it, the the review scores I'm looking up to. It's just like I see lots of eight out of tens, nine point out of tens. Well, that's buying reviews for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a, it's a fun game. Call of Duty, Call of Duty in space, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. <laughs> I do want to get the uh, Halo Anniversary Edition now because I like the. I I, I, I have Anniversary. The, it's pretty fun. Is the pistol broken? Yeah, is the pistol still over? It's the same game. It, it literally just has a toggle button to switch between Xbox graphics and Xbox 360 graphics. So the pistol's broken? What? It, it's balanced in exactly the same way as the original. Pistol also, for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the pistol the default weapon? Yes. It's a default weapon. It depends on the mission, really. So why would you ever use anything else? 
That's oh. what we asked. You got well, because you have two weapons, and you can have you either the, have the pistol, pistol or something else. If you're a close quarters guy, you use the pistol and shotgun. If you're a long range guy, you use the pistol and the uh, sniper rifle. Indeed. Pistol works just as good as a sniper rifle at long range. <laughs> Boom, Meanwhile, headshot. in Halo 4, you just you, you just grab the first weapon from the new bad guy races that you can carry and use that for the entire mission. It fucking vaporizes everything. I was actually playing Time Splitters 2 a few about a week ago with the. Uh... It bothers me that melee hits weren't one hit kills. Well, that never with a, really gets hit made with, any gets, sense to me. Gets though. hit with a rocket launcher, survives. One cut to the back, dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing, like, what, 30 pounds of body armor in all of these games, and, like, one slice from a stinky little knife is enough to kill you? I call bullshit. Yeah. Well, frontal attacks, no. Back attacks, you never see it coming. Yeah, but still, you, do you know how oh, much how I force love it snipers. takes to stab? They'll just sit the there and let me knife them all without raising their hand. <laughs> Oh, there was a boss fight on screen. <laughs> yeah, I actually kind of forgot we were commentating well, over at Sonic what kind of knife attack are we are we talking about? Just a wild slash or a deliberate stab for one of the gaps in the armor or something? Well, if, yes. Um, yeah, yes. <laughs> well, uh, according to the animation, you just sort of, like, swipe at them, so I guess a wild slash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. There's no excuse. I call bullshit, too. Ah, great. We got a, we got a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. That's... Awesome. Look like a bar of soap. I just love that for cheese. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost over. Oh look, it's the pink dumb one. As what opposed to here? the red dumb one. Yes. They have the same hairstyle, so. <laughs> oh no, Amy has that weird. Whatever it is in the front of her head. Shark an fit. An antenna. A little triple ahoge there. Yes, antenna. So yeah. can she uh, connect to the internet with that? Get no, is, no, she can, just, no she, can, she can just connect to the Elric Brother telepathy. <laughs> it is the anime-style hair quirk that, that is supposed to label a character as idiot, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this could totally be taken as a porno script. What? Just for the record. Just say this. I don't want to say this. You're going to say it and you're going to like it. I don't want to. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you know what? If someone watching this is into writing crappy smut fix, take this dialogue and transpose it into one. <laughs> it's really awkwardly translated, I, I notice. It's just, you can sort of tell by the way the um, the writing's very sort of stilted. It, it, I don't think they put an awful lot of effort into localizing this. Wait, Blades is a fear of heights? I don't remember reading that. That explains why she has the most airtime. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just... Thank soon, me. soon, 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 soon. <laughs> that that actually a really nice guy. He's just a bit simple. <laughs> You'll get used to having him try to punch you in the face and then apologize later. It's going to happen at least five times before he gets it through his thick skull that you're not a bad guy. <laughs> and maybe three times after he realizes you are a good guy. You know, it it takes him a while. 